Hot culture is back. Uh, sorry it's been away for so long. Just stuff started coming up and I didn't have enough time. Of course, I've been doing the TV doctor. So since I've been carving out time for that, I decided to carve out some time to do a quick hot culture video. So first of all, uh, well, maybe not first of all. So in movies, there's been one really big piece of news that I have wanted to talk about on my website, but I haven't had the chance to sit down and write about it. So I thought I would make a hot culture video. Uh, you've probably already heard that Michael B. Jordan, the star of Chronicle and The Wire, is now being uh, considered to play Johnny Storm. Oh, yes, that is Johnny Storm, the Human Torch from Fantastic Four. And, you know, as we know, uh, Johnny Storm is generally portrayed as a white guy. Last portrayed by Chris Evans um, in that failed, failed movie series. So what do you think about Michael B. Jordan being up to play a role that was initially for a, a white character? Um, as for my opinions, I've gone back and forth on race bending when it's the other way around. Like, of course, race bending when it's a, a white person playing another race, of course, that it's easy to say, yes, that's totally wrong. But what about when it's a minority playing a, a, a white character? That's when it gets tricky. Now, of course, you know, if you've taken film history, if you know anything about film, you know that there has been a sordid past of whitewashing in Hollywood where you have uh, people who are not minorities playing minorities and how frustrating it can be for minority actors and actresses trying to find roles when all the roles, even the minority ones, are taken by white actors and actresses. Now fast forward to today, that doesn't happen. Uh, well, it happens sometimes, actually, but uh, it doesn't happen like it used to. Like we, For the most part, people who are black get black roles, people who are Asian get Asian roles, etc, etc. Um, it's a different case with Native American roles. I don't know why that is. Um, like the whole Lone Ranger thing, that's a whole different story. But uh, anyway, we are mostly in the 21st century as far as, it, as, far as Hollywood uh, casting goes for the most part but there's still an unequal balance with roles like there's still a lot more roles for white people than there are for minorities so what is a minority person to do when there's a surplus of roles but there's none for them and I think you know with comic book movies taking this stance of let's make these uh, white characters into minority characters, it's, on the one hand, it's good because it's creating an avenue for minority actors and actresses to get into these very pop culture roles, establish a fan base, um, be able to have some kind of leverage when it comes to getting other roles that they might not normally have, because these movies are huge temple movies. Um, you know, if all of the, if all of the roles were for uh, were, were given to white actors and actresses, there would basically it be almost like a lockout, you know, of roles. So that would create a problem. So it's almost like, on, in one way of looking at it, you have to kind of bend the races of some people, of some characters, I mean, to give more opportunities to the whole pool of actors and actresses in Hollywood which includes minority actors and actresses. On the other hand, it, it's, it's tough. If race bending is bad on the one hand, should it be bad all over? And so that's the, that's the thing that gets troublesome. Because you have fanboys and fangirls, for that matter, being like, 
this isn't how the character is supposed to be. This isn't how uh, he's always been portrayed in the comic books and, um, uh, you know, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is I don't know the answer to this. It's it's a, a big thing to deal with, especially for the minority actor or actress who takes the role because then you have people... Um, you know, for like they'll from the the one end being like this isn't how the character was in the comic book, to you know the racist end, like how some people did with Idris Elba, and his role in Thor. They started making tons of racist comments about how he shouldn't be in Thor. Um, so I don't know. It's a complicated issue. I kind of talked about it on my website when I was talking about the whole Lone Ranger stuff and. Um, Man of Steel with Lawrence Fishburne being in Man of Steel but um I don't know I, I've thought about it a lot but I am in the middle I see both sides to this issue so I don't know what do you think about it leave your comments in the comment section and hopefully soon I'll see you again with another hot culture topic bye